9710. No doubt, I'm chill. Written on by Kathleen Lennon of New Albany, Ohio. No doubt, I'm chill. Sired by No Doubt, I'm Lazy out of the damn best blazing angel. Finalists, congratulations. Congratulations to finalist number 9331, Cherry Lime Maid. Written on by Jessica Wolfhart from Brick, New Jersey. Cherry Lime Maid, sired by Machine Maid. Finalist in our three year old non pro Western Pleasure Futurity. Final number is 7930, The Kissing Machine, written on by Riley Potts from Fountain Inn, South Carolina. The Kissing Machine is sired by the Lopin Machine out of the dam, Crimson Kisses. Final number is 7930, congratulations. Congratulations to finals number 6744, Waiting on a Ride. Written by Catherine DeVrice and owned by Oak Spring Ranch LLC from Bakerville, California. Waiting on a Ride, started by No Doubt I'm Lazy, out of the damn good pulsations. Finals number 6744. Final number 5781, The Glamorous Life. Final number 5692, Grit and Grace. Written by Karen Wood and owned by Bill and Cindy Cosentino from Omaha, Nebraska. Grit and Grace is hired by Machine Made out of the dam hunting for a cowboy. Finals number 5692. Congratulations to the finals number 4956, Sippin' Martinis, written and owned by Mason Dorsey from Powell, Ohio. Sipping martini is served by the best martini out of the dam, covered in cashmere. Finals 49.56. Finals 36.54, Flying to the Moon. Written by Dan Yeager from Dallas, Texas. Flying to the Moon is started by Extremely Hot Chips out of the dam, a diva by Moonlight. Finals 3654. Finals number 2279, Bucket List. Written and known by Adam Matthews from Gordonville, Texas.
And now here are top 15 placings at the All-American Quarter Horse Congress in our three-year-old non-pro Western Pleasure Futurity class. Placing 15th, congratulate answer number 7355, Socks for Days. Written by Laura Atkinson and owned by Dax Atkinson from Independence, Minnesota. Socks for Days is started by R.L. Best of Sudden of the Dam, a Crimson Babe. Also placing ninth in the Southern Bell Breeders, earning $148. 15th place takes home a check for $396 for the 15th place finish. Socks for days, number 7355, Laura Atkinson, riding for Dax Atkinson. Congratulations. Placing 14th, congratulate Anch number 1617. Something to hope for. Renowned by Denise Hawkins from Canton, Georgia. Something to hope for is started by It's a Southern Thing. $594 for the 14th place finish, also receiving $186 for 8th in the Southern Bell Breeders. Something for, to hope for. And Denise Hawkins, number 16, 17, 14th overall, and 8th in the Southern Bell Breeders. Congratulations. Now placing 13th, congratulate number 76, 78. Butterfly Kisses, written and owned by Lola Knight from Kernsville, North Carolina. Butterfly Kisses is sired by Batman out of the dam. She kisses the best. $792 for the 13th place finish, also receiving the placing medallion. Number 76, 78, Butterfly Kisses and Lola Knight placing 13th overall. Congratulations. In 12th place, congratulations to entry number 9738. Hello, darling. Written by Courtney Moses, known by Aaron and Courtney Moses of Pilot Point, Texas. Hello, darling is sired by Coats and Tails. Out of the dam, cry for me, Argentina. 12th place will take home the play seam down and a check for $990. Hello, darling, number 9738, and Courtney Moses placing 12th. Now placing 11th overall and 7th in the Southern Bell Breeders. Congratulations to entry number 8634, This Cowboy's Mine. Renowned by Paula Zabko of Denton, Texas. This Cowboy's Mine is started by the Lopen Machine out of the dam, Sudden's Leading Lady. $1,188 for the 11th place finish, also receiving $223 for 7th in the Southern Bell Breeders. This Cowboy's Mine and Paula Zabko 11th overall, 7th Southern Bell Breeders. Congratulations. And now here are your top 10 placings at the All-American Quarter Horse Congress in our three-year-old non-pro Western Pleasure Futurity class running concurrently with the Super Sires and the Southern Bell Breeders. Placing 10th overall, 6th in the Southern Bell Breeders. Congratulate. Answer number 3310, the Who's Who. Written by J.R. Pickard, known by Wayne and Judy Davis of Reddick, Florida. The Who's Who is sired by Machine Made out of the dam, Who's Chasing Who. Tenth place takes home a payout of $1,386, $297 for a sixth in the Southern Bell Breeders. The Who's Who and J.R. Pickard, tenth overall, six Southern Bell Breeders. Congratulations. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting ninth place overall and first in the Super Sires and fifth in the Southern Bell Breeders. Congratulate, entry number 4370. Slow Like Molasses, written by Liz Long, owned by Ben and Dixie Sussman of Beckley, West Virginia. First in the Super Sires receives a check for $14,040, $1,584 for a ninth overall and $334 for fifth in the Southern Bell Breeders. Congratulations, 
Slow Like Molasses, first in the Super Sires, ninth overall, and fifth in the Southern Bell Breeders. And a special thank you to the Equine Chronicle for sponsoring the Super Sires Non Pro Three Year Old Western Pleasure Futurity Class. Congratulations, Slow Like Molasses. First in the Super Sires, taking home that check for $14,040. Congratulations. Eighth place in our three year old Don Pro Western Pleasure Futurity class goes to entry number 7672, Made Suddenly. Written by Whitney Small and owned by Big Rock Farms LLC from Burlington, North Carolina. Made suddenly is started by machine made out of the dam, best served hot. $1,980 for the eighth place finish, also receiving the placing medallion. Made suddenly, Whitney Small for Big Rock Farms LLC, placing eighth. Congratulations. We're up to seventh place in our class. Congratulate seventh place and number 7202, Deja Who. Written by Linda Berwick and owned by Scott and Linda Berwick from Clarence Creek, Ontario. Seventh overall, fourth in the Southern Bell Breeders, fourth place. Takes home that check for $372. Seventh overall, check for $2,376. Congratulations, 7202, Deja Who and Linda Berwick. Seventh overall, fourth in the Southern Bell Breeders. Now placing six overall and third in the Southern Bell Breeders. Congratulate number 9184, VS Enjoy the Ride. Written by Raymond Ar Arnona and owned by Vincent Arnona from Gretna, Louisiana. VS Enjoy the Ride is sired by VS Good Ride, now the damn VS. Sixth place overall takes home pay of $2,772. $483 for a third in the Southern Bell Breeders. Ray Arnona and VS enjoy the ride. Six overall, third Southern Bell Breeders. Congratulations. Placing fifth overall in our class, congratulate Antrober 8676, Flo Rida. Written by Melissa Cook and owned by J.R. Melissa Cook from Cypress, Texas. Flo Rida is sired by No Doubt I'm Lazy. $3,168 for the fifth place finish. In the three year old Don Pro Western Pleasure Futurity class, Flo Rida, number 8676, and Melissa Cook placing fifth. Placing fourth overall and second in the Southern Bell Breeders. Congratulate entry number 6575, Made My Day. Written by Nancy Wilkerson Diddy, owned by Diddy Up LLC of Ocala, Florida. Made My Day is sired by Machine Made Other Dam, Silk, Satin, and Sudden. $3,565 for the fourth place overall finish. $706 for second in the Southern Bell Breeders. Made my day, and Nancy Wilkerson Diddy, fourth overall, second Southern Bell Breeders. Congratulations.
Placing third at the All-American Quarter Horse Congress in the three-year-old non-pro Western Pleasure Futurity. Congratulate number 7143, The Perfect Illusion. Written by Alicia Nielsen. Third place will take home a check for $4,159. The Perfect Illusion and Alicia Nielsen placing third. Congratulations. And now your reserve Congress champion in the three-year-old non-pro Western Pleasure Futurity. Congratulate number 4901, Let's Holiday. Written by Becky Gallion, owned by Gill and Becky Gallion, Upper Cell, Oklahoma. Let's Holiday is sired by No Doubt. I'm Lays Yathadam. She's on holiday. Our reserve champion will take home the Spurs from Rod's Western Pals. The placing medallion and a check for $5,545. Let's Holiday and Becky Gallion for Gill and Becky Gallion. Of Purcell, Oklahoma, reserved Congress champions and the three year old Don Pro Western Pleasure Futurity. Congratulations. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to introduce you to the champion, the Congress champion, three-year-old non-pro Western Pleasure Futurity Horse, inch number 2303, V.S. the Fireman. <laughs> Ridden on by Miss Kristen Gallion of Claremore, Oklahoma. V.S. the Fireman is started by Machine Made of the Dam, V.S. Lady in Red. Your Congress champion will receive the NSBA trophy the medallion and the saddle from the Ohio Quarter Horse Association, the Congress Winner's Jacket from Schneider Saddlery Company, the Constant Comfort Block and Holder from Tribute Superior Equine Nutrition, a one-year subscription to the Equine Chronicle from the Equine Chronicle, and a check for $9,110, also first in the Southern Bell Breeders, taking home the medallion, the Southern Bell Breeders Trophy, and a check for $967. Congratulations. Number 2303, V.S. the Fireman and Kristen Gallion, winners of the three-year-old Non-Pro Western Pleasure Futurity here at the All-American Quarter Horse Congress. <laughs> 